Start with flipping the cap off of the vial of the bacteriostatic water as well as the lyophilized powder of HCG. Wipe each top of the vials with a new alcohol wipe. Now take the large 10 milliliter syringe with needle out of its wrapping. Make sure the needle is on tight by pressing and twisting the cap of the syringe. Pull back the plunger to the black line in which your healthcare provider has prescribed. Hold the barrel of the syringe as you insert the needle through the rubber stopper of the water vial. Once the needle is inside, flip the vial upside down and push the plunger all the way to transfer the air from the syringe into the vial of bacteriostatic water. Then you will pull back the plunger to transfer the prescribed amount of bacteriostatic water into the syringe. Now insert the syringe filled with the bacteriostatic water into the rubber stopper of the lyophilized powdered vial. Hold at a slight angle and slowly press down on the syringe to inject the bacteriostatic water into the vial. Once all of the water has been pushed into the lyophilized vial, carefully remove the needle from the vial. Place the cap back onto the syringe and discard the needle. Lastly, gently swirl the vial of bacteriostatic water and lyophilized powder until all of the powder has been dissolved into the solution. Start by flipping the cap off of the vial of your prescribed testosterone medication. Wipe the top of the vial with a new alcohol wipe. Now take your syringe and 23 gauge needle out of its wrapping. Attach the 23 gauge needle to a small syringe with plunger. Pull back the plunger to the black line which your healthcare provider has prescribed. Hold the barrel of the syringe as you insert the needle through the rubber stopper of the medication vial. Once the needle is inside, flip the vial upside down and push the plunger all the way to transfer the air from the syringe into the vial. Then you will pull back the plunger to transfer the prescribed amount of medication into the syringe. To remove air from the syringe, gently tap with your finger and slowly press the plunger. If you prefer, at this point, you may switch to the smaller 25 gauge needle for injecting. Carefully put the cap back onto the 23 gauge needle. Take the 23 gauge needle off by twisting and pulling needle cap away from the syringe. Now, take your 25 gauge needle out of its wrapping and attach to the small syringe filled with the testosterone medication. Make sure the needle is on tight by pressing and twisting the cap of the needle. Now that you have your medication ready, let's prepare injecting your peptide solution. Start by wiping the injection site on your body with a new alcohol wipe. Carefully handle the syringe filled with the testosterone medicine and take off the cap. Position the needle at a 90 degree angle, pierce the skin, and carefully inject the medicine. Lastly, carefully take the needle out, place the cap onto the needle, and discard in a sharps container or a hard plastic container with a screw on top. If you are injecting intramuscularly in the upper arm, start by feeling for the top of your shoulder where the bone is. Imagine an upside down triangle from that spot and inject at the point of the triangle. Wipe the injection site on your body with a new alcohol wipe. Carefully handle the syringe filled with the testosterone medicine and take off the cap. 
Position the needle at a 90 degree angle, pierce the skin, and carefully inject the medicine. Lastly, carefully take the needle out, place the cap onto the needle, and discard in a sharps container or a hard plastic container with the screw on top. Thank you.